But I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I looked over. And I seen the promised land. I may not get there with you. But I want you to know tonight. That we as a people. Will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. Mine eyes have seen the glory. Of the coming of the Lord. Thank you. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Welcome back to your spiritual sports segment on Rima Gospel Radio. I'm CJ. The National Hockey League was back in action on its second night of the shortened lockout season as the Pittsburgh Penguins got past the New York Rangers 6-3. The Minnesota Wild shut out. The Dallas Stars 1-0. The Philadelphia Flyers were pounded by the Buffalo Sabres 5-2 while the San Jose Sharks pummeled the Cavalry Flames 4-1. The Edmonton Oilers needed a shootout to defeat the Vancouver Canucks 3-2, and the Chicago Blackhawks skated past the Phoenix Coyotes 6-4. Women's College Basketball had a plethora of games on the hard court as I run down the scores of the top-ranked games as second-ranked Notre Dame simply befuddled St. John's 74-50 with 18 points from Skylar Diggins. Fifth-ranked Kentucky clobbered Auburn 97-53 with a season-high of 24 points from Aida Matthews. Chena Gumake's 29 points and 16 glass-grabbing rebounds led sixth-ranked Stanford over USC 75-66. Seventh-ranked Cal got past 14th-ranked UCLA 70-65 as Laisha Calderon native at 22 points. Ninth ranked Tennessee demolished, dominated, and destroyed. <laughs> Alliteration. I love it. Alabama 96 to 69 with Bashar Gray's 21 points. Tenth ranked Maryland Cruz passed Georgia Tech 66 to 57 as Elisa Thomas made the net sizzle with 28 points. And twelfth ranked Purdue was upset and blasted by unranked Iowa 62 to 46 with 15 points from Jamie Printy. For your NFL quick hits, an Atlanta Falcons fan was stabbed in the neck during an altercation outside the Georgia Dome following Sunday's NFC's championship game. Channel 2 Action News in Atlanta reported, and Larry Fitzgerald of the Arizona Cardinals, Joe Thomas of the Cleveland Browns, and Jason Witten of the Dallas Cowboys are finalists for the Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award. For your quick news and notes, now that Chip Kelly is head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles, the Oregon Ducks promoted offensive coordinator Mark Helfrick to head coach. Notre Dame linebacker Manti Teo and his parents will be interviewed by Katie Couric, the first on-camera interview given by the All-American since news broke about the dead girlfriend hoax. Forward Jeffrey Lupul has signed a five-year contract extension with the Toronto Maple Leafs that would average $5.25 million per season. And finally, NBC's Bright cast Saturday on the first night of games in the NHL earned the highest preliminary rating for a non-winter classic regular season game since 2002 with a 2.0 overnight rating. In order to stake your claim between five and ten thousand dollars in cash and prizes this year, you have to make sure you have your face in the place as Rumor Word Broadcasting celebrates six years on the air at their sixth annual ministry gala. Get on a payment plan now to secure your tickets by logging on to RumorWordTV.info for more information. And if you're unable to attend the event, please sow a seed to be a blessing. Thanks for tuning in to your updates in your spiritual sports segment where we sprinkle a little spirituality <laughs> in your sports. I'm CJ. Be blessed and have a majestic Monday.